phenol A and loves it. So they get to be soft killed themselves, but then also kind of, uh, this is the little subconscious crime stop thing that goes through their head. They, they think to themselves, oh, that's kind of scary that the government's going around exterminating people all over the place. And some African nations, 40 plus percent of the country have AIDS and other soft kill weapons. Um, that's kind of scary. Rather than face up to that, I'll just giggle and laugh about it and uh, you know, act like I accept it. That gives me power over it. Yeah, just like if you went out in the middle of a highway at night with an 18-wheeler going 85 miles an hour coming down the road and you jump out in front of it and then go, I accept it, I have power over it. You're not going to be smiling after it smashes you into grease all over the street and your guts are f flying all over the place. You are weak. You beg for enslavement. You beg to have you and your children march into a ditch and have soldiers blow your brains out. This is a drugged out Prozac head nation, drunk on the blood of 51 million dead babies. And we're all going to be judged for it. We're going to be judged to absolute Hades. You just watch all of you, all of you cops and all of you fat belly TSA people and all of you that love tyranny and love evil. All of you that enjoy it and giggle and think it's fun. You're going to drink right out of the black cup of hell. You're going to enjoy total destruction. You're going to enjoy cancer and death. You're going to enjoy all your naked body scanning and all your tyranny and the drones and the open borders and the f this whole republic falling into a cesspit of pure evil. You want to be enslaved. You get off on your cowardice. You get off on your religion of worshiping weakness. Then you are going to be absolutely taken. You're going to be absolutely destroyed by the black hell god you worship. I'm so sick and tired of all the crap. All right, I'm going to settle down, okay? I've just, I, just, I just can't take it. I can't take the weak people. They are so stupid. Ugh. You know, the good news is, the good news is, the good news is, over 70% of people on that YouTube video that has over 200,000 views, top story on Drudge right now, about one of my employees being groped and her 20-month-old daughter and her 8-year-old eight daughter having you know, men try to put their hands between their legs. And she refused to have the men do it, so the women did it. I mean, probably people like 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 Napolitano, the Homeland Security head, Janet Napolitano. The good news is over 70% of the commenters get it and understand what's happening. But I see these people in there just denying it and saying, this isn't going on. Alex is a liar. They're not squeezing your genitals and breasts. Or the others. The other people who are in there going, yeah, this is going on. You want Al-Qaeda to blow up your plane? Al-Qaeda? You mean Anwar al-Awlaki? You mean this? You mean this? Head of Al-Qaeda hanging out secretly at the Pentagon, Fox News? You mean that, you people? You think anybody's safe when we've got a government so arrogant and so absolutely amped up and crazy that they'd blow up all those towers in front of everybody and tell you that a chicken neck guy in a cave with a turban on his head did it, who's admittedly CIA himself? But you like to buy into the little narrative, and we got hit by Al-Qaeda, and we came together as a country of America. And you put out your little flag in front of your house, while everything that flag symbolizes is being flushed down the proverbial toilet, period. You know, I am pleased that our information is breaking through all over the place and reaching millions of people. But, I mean, it should be breaking through a lot more. I shouldn't be the only one who yells and screams and gets upset about the naked body scanners and then forces it out nationwide so that there's a debate about it. And I searched this morning hundreds of articles suddenly criticizing the naked body scanners because these reporters are so cowardly that they were waiting for other people to come out and criticize it before they did. I mean, what? <laughs> I got to settle down because the, the, the economic news is freaking me out. It's all, everything's coming true. I've been right about everything. You think I'm pleased with that? Oh, oh. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I got a bunch of news coming up.
Your natural organic herbal formula for heart health is Heart and Body Extract. My name is Fan, and I'm 68 years old, and I live in Vermont. In the spring of 2003, I started to have problems with my heart. It felt like my heart was pounding. It made me feel breathless. I tried many, many different things to try to get some help for myself. Nothing did anything. Heart and Body Extract is very powerful, very effective, and works quickly. I saw one of Sharon's ads and ordered Heart and Body Extract. I noticed a difference quickly, within days. The episodes became less frequent, and by a month, I completely vanished. Usually, you find a 30-day or 60-day guarantee. Heart and Body Extract comes with a lifetime 100% ironclad money-back guarantee. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. Call 866-295-5305. 866-295-5305 for Heart and Body Extract. Off the Grid Remedies can still be grown in your own backyard. Tap into powerful off the grid health care using all natural time tested herbal medications that you grow yourself with the new Survival Herb Bank. Take the first preventative step against the coming socialized medical shortages with survivalherbbank.com. Traditional herbal remedies have been used effectively for centuries, but the big pharmaceutical and big government cartel can't patent their natural healing powers. That's why they are trying to ban them. The Survival Herb Bank contains 20 powerful herbs, all with proven track records as off-the-grid remedies. And here's the best part. When you grow your own herbal medicines, potencies go through the roof. Learn more at survivalherbbank.com. Plus, get the ebook, How to Grow Your Own Herbs for Survival Remedies, a $39 value free with every Survival Herb Bank order. Now at less than half price while supplies last at survivalherbbank.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Survivalherbbank.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, shipyards, tow line, or boating. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive 100 feet of 550 paracord free with purchase. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Okay, we're back live, ladies and gentlemen, and I would apologize for yelling and screaming and frothing, but maybe I shouldn't apologize. I'm mad at myself when I lose control, though, so overall, it's not good. But you've got to get upset about 51 million dead Americans that were never born. You know, the media has trained uh, everybody to fight with each other through multiculturalism and the rest of it, and trained black folks and others to get upset at the smallest slights, but then to care less if 51% of black people were never born since Roe v. Wade. And you try to tell a black person on the street this, and then it's like they can't even hear you. Hey, do you know half the black people that would be, that would be alive are dead, and they just don't even hear you? It's just like white yuppies. You know, you bring up, hey, you know, sodium fluoride will double your chances of bone cancer alone, and will uh, uh, increase diabetes and attack your pancreas. 
and they just laugh at you. They, they cannot hear it. And they make excuses for any type of oppression. Oh, well, I think it's good they're squeezing my children's genitals. There could be bombs in there. Look, the government is criminal. They did the attacks. But even if the, uh, the terrorists were real, China isn't putting this stuff in. I've talked to business people and others that fly to China all the time. No security. You go right in and right out. It's all made up. Now, if they see a suspicious person that fits a profile, they'll question them. You don't, old men who can't even get out of wheelchairs. Every time I fly, I watch them fondling little children and women and harassing old people who clearly are on the edge of death and making them get out of wheelchairs. I've seen them try to make paralyzed people get out of wheelchairs. That's been in the news. It's mental illness. The government tells its employees to do things that they know are insane and impossible to just train us to do whatever they tell us, no matter how crazy it is. And I've got all the government declassified documents of how they're doing it. There, I said I was going to settle down, and I'm not. You know, this radio show is not entertainment. It's real, okay? I'm a guy who knows what's going on. I know that we are literally in worldwide Nazi Germany 2.0 with its fake liberal face. Nothing to do with liberals. It just has a liberal face on it. And it's a bunch of murdering trash. And I know they're attacking all of us. It's on record. And it's time for people to get that through their stinking heads. Here's the deal. Globalism, world government, the new world order. It means depression. It means surveillance. It means police state. All these idiots over the decades that have sent me emails and called me and said, I don't care if I live in a police state. I haven't done anything wrong. Don't you get that police states are by the evil people in government who are criminals and sadists and psychopaths who want to hurt you? It doesn't matter that you have nothing to hide, you idiot. It's that the government throughout history will abuse you to whatever level you put up with. And evil people will get in and take control if you don't stand up against it. They will use all that data to enslave you and to control you. I saw a mainstream news article somewhere in my stack. Will you guys print it again? We'll never find it because i got two days of stacks here. Where they announced that uh, major banks and corporations know are spying on your bank accounts, your pay stubs, what you're buying, everything you're doing with data mining to, quote, decide what your credit score will be. Well, th th that's old news. Everything is surveilled. You know, Bush would get up four years ago and say, I promise we're not surveilling Americans without warrants. We're only listening to overseas calls without warrants. And it was all lies. It's all lies. It's like Hillary said for five years before she ran for president that she would never run for president. She said again today she will never run for president. I mean, it, it, they just lie out of hand and people go, that's what the government does. They lie to us. That's what the government does. They radiate small children, nerve gas troops, inject families with syphilis. That's just what they do. Let's trust what they say. Let's have them run government health care where the government controls what type of health care we have. I mean, come on, people. And they found the article. It's a raw story. Maybe just print that for me. Banks spying on your bills, rent payments, paychecks report. The age of the plain old credit score is gone. So there's a report in the Wall Street Journal, and it's been replaced with an even more intrusive efforts by banks and credit agencies. Well, those are our owners. That's who created the derivatives. This is the criminal group to gauge exactly what you're worth and what you can pay. To that end, financial firms are now tracking their customers' bank deposits, rent payments, or home values, and even utility bills to figure out who may soon become a financial risk, reports the Wall Street Journal. And it just goes on to how everything you're doing is being watched and the government's doing it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to settle down and cover the incredible financial news. And then for the full second hour, we're going to do what I did on the Sunday show yesterday. We're going to take calls from people uh, groped and, and abused by the TSA. You're going to hear it for yourself, those of you in denial. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
when you're out on the road, the last place you want to